both twin flames and welcome to the dm to the f reading for saturday so we're going to use a really good deck today i love this deck it always gets a great response when i use this deck this is a dm's confessions by the amazing bridget Rowe, and they have done a whole masculine series with this deck that you can find in the playlist right now and he explains the journey from their point of view so what does your masculine want to say to you today there is some saucy cards in here, so you know I'll have to see if I'm going to put an 18 plus on this, depending what mood they're in. But let's see what they want you to know. What does your masculine want to say to you today, Divine Feminines? What do they want to say? Here we go. So a few cards are really kind of jumping out here. I'm going to take them. And again, these ones too. So I feel that these are the main ones, and these are going to be clarifiers or extra messages. But I am feeling a lot of magic around today. A lot of power, a lot of strength for the masculines too, where, you know, they want to express themselves. They're very clearly getting that across to you. And there's a little bit of fairy magic coming in today to help them move ahead. So he's saying to you, you're better off without me for now. So he's being honest there and he's saying, look, I know that he isn't very nice when we're apart and there's distance and silence, but you're better off for now. He's saying to you, I need to heal I need to release myself from that karmic partner who's dragging us both down. I need to be available for you. So I give you more than just a few parts of my time every now and again. I need to be free. So for now, you're better off. And you've been reminded that we are protected on this journey. You know, we are protected by heaven. So if your masculine's feeling sorry for himself or he's in a low vibration or he's dealing with some drama, you don't need that in your life, Divine Feminine. So the angels are protecting you. You're better off without me for now. That doesn't mean it's going to be forever. That for now could be today. But today he's saying to you, in this moment, you know, you're better off, you know, just doing you today and leaving me to do me. And there's magic around the Divine Feminine today. You're feeling this magic. So you're in a high vibration today, Divine Feminine, loving yourself, giving to yourself. So you don't need anything that's going to knock you down. He's saying, I do check up on you to see what you're doing. So even though he may be away from you right now, he may be distancing himself from you right now, he's still curious what you're up to. Why? Because you are one and he loves you and he wonders where you are. Of course, I check up on you to see what you're doing. Now, he may check up on you online. He may be looking at your social media, having a look at your posts if, you know, he's got access to it. If he hasn't got access, he may be Googling your name, just seeing if anything pops up at all. He may be asking someone about you if you've got mutual friends or, you know, if there's people that you both know. He may be even driving past your house or being around where you are. So remember, there's many, many ways he can check up on you. He's also checking up on you on the 5D, speaking to you telepathically, asking how you are, how are you doing? I've written entire messages to send to you. So he's reminding you that he is going to reach out. Of course, I'm going to communicate to you when I find the right words, when the time is right. I've written these messages out, entire messages, but I always end up deleting them because my fear of intimacy paralyzes me. So he freezes. You know, the masculines have that flight or fight response sometimes. And sometimes they freeze. You know, when I'm kind of a bit scared, say when I'm on the roller coaster, I either scream or I shut down. You know, last time I went to the, the theme park, I actually faced my fears and screamed and shouted but other times I've been on a ride even a small ride and I've just frozen in fear so the masculine saying it, it paralyzes me sometimes I can't move I don't know what to do when inside he wants to scream he wants to shout like I did on that roller coaster but he's just holding it all in so he's saying it needs to be the right time that's why he's saying to you for now you're better off without that message or you're better off without me coming to you while I'm in this energy of not being sure what to say, in the energy of fear, they give me fear, how to say it, give me time. But he's, he's still checking up on you, give me a lot of fear around communication, divine feminine. So the masculines are still in this energy where they are still releasing that fear, still gathering the courage and the strength and becoming brave enough to reach out and tell you how they feel. He's saying, I do love you. And I want to spend time with you. So he's reminding you of that. So just because he's saying not now doesn't mean it's not going to happen. He's saying I, I do love you. 
I want to be able to show you as well as tell you that I love you and spend time with you. And he's very clearly getting that across in the messages. You know, last night the message came up that he wants to sit down and talk to you and get everything out into the open and sort things out. But he also needs to do that in his life too, with his boss, his friends, his family, his karmic partner, to make that move for good instead of backing down or changing his mind. I will be back. So he's saying it's not the right time today, but I will be back. Now, some of you are already in contact already in communication but maybe today's a bit silent he's in hermit mode you're not sure why he's saying i will be back if you're in separation you're wondering if he's going to return he's saying i will be back so this is like arnie i'll be back he's saying i will be back to tell you the truth so he's saying i'm going to tell you the truth when i come back to you that's why in this moment you're better off without me for now because I want to be able to tell you the truth. He says, I can't keep these feelings inside of myself anymore. So he's ready to explode. He's ready to explode like a volcano because he's got all this love inside. It's like when you shake up a bottle of pop, it, you take the lid off, it's going to explode because it has to come out. He's all fired up. And this is another reason why he has to do it the right way because he doesn't want to make a fool of himself or make a mistake or say things he doesn't mean. Anyway, he says say things he doesn't mean, things that you may take the wrong way. You know, if he says something and he, he messes his words up, again, there's this confusion. I know what I mean. I know what I want. What if I do it wrong and you take it the wrong way? He's saying, you triggered my spiritual awakening. So you've helped him to see who he is. You've given him direction. And that's what I'm seeing, a compass here. You've given him direction and showed him the way. And I know you think I only care about sex, but it's not true. I do care about you. I just don't know how to share my emotions with words. So sometimes he shows you he loves you by kissing you, loving you, touching you, flirting with you, being sexual with you. And, you know, he's saying, I know that's all you think I care about, but he isn't. Now, that won't resonate with every twin flame journey, but some of the masculines are like that. You know, sometimes all I really want from George is a hug and he'll you know, try and make it into something else. And he's like, this is how I'm showing you love. I'm a divine masculine. It's who I am. So remember, when we want a love and comfort, they want sexual intimacy because they feel, you know, they feel satisfied through that because then they feel loved and they feel like you want them. So the masculines want to feel wanted. And sometimes that's the way that they feel that. He's saying, I'm sorry, I risk losing your love. And right now he could risk losing your love because he's saying to you, you're better off without me for now. And most of you know that's a good thing because you're being protected. And when he comes forward, which he will because he's saying, I'll be back. He's going to speak the truth and tell you how he truly feels because he loves you and wants to spend time with you. But if you're still dealing with a trigger energy around this, if you're still triggered when you hear those words or... If you're triggered, then you may think I've had enough. I'm going to move on. And he's saying, wow, I'm sorry I risk losing your love. I'm sorry. So he's asking you to trust him and be patient with him and love him no matter what. And I read every word you've written to me more than once. So he goes over your old messages, rereads them. If you've reached out lately and he hasn't res responded or, you know, if you're wondering if he's read your message, he's saying I've read it over and over again because he's taking the words that, He's allowing himself to believe and understand what your words are. So he's saying, I am going to be back to tell you the truth. Just give me time. I'm afraid to open up. If the masculines haven't yet opened your message, they're afraid to open it up. They're afraid because they don't know what you know, you're going to say, but also because of their own feelings and their intimacy. He's saying, I'm afraid to open up. That means get words out, express himself. That's another reason why you're better off without him for now. But what they're showing me intuitively is, if you've received a message from your twin, I know someone watching out there will be going through this right now and questioning this, and they haven't opened it. Or, you know, maybe you've sent them a Snapchat and they haven't watched it, they haven't opened it, or you've sent an email or a WhatsApp and it hasn't been opened, even though you know they've been around, they've been online, and you're thinking, what's going on? He says, I'm afraid to open it because I know it will be the end of my ability to keep these walls up. I'm just protecting my heart. It really isn't you, it's me. So he's waiting until he's in a better frame of mind to open that message or to come forward because he knows that once he does, he'll want to continue the conversation. 
or he'll want to make love to you and kiss you or tell you how he feels. He won't be able to stop himself. And if he's still not available to you, then he doesn't want to hurt you or him anymore. I love that you can see my truth, but it scares me too. Of course it does. It scares him because you see into his soul and he's never really had that before. Thank you for loving me more than anyone ever has. I never knew anyone could love me like you. So he's showing you, he's being vulnerable there. He's saying, wow, I met you and everything changed in my life. And I run because that scares me. I'm afraid of being vulnerable. I'm afraid of opening up. I'm afraid of opening that message because I have to be sure that I am fully ready to give to you and I'm not going to run again because I'm afraid of being hurt. So he's got deep abandonment issues. He's currently healing deep core wounds from previous lifetimes, maybe from childhood or even from a you know bad relationship or relationship that's going wrong now. And he wants to do it right this time because this time it's going to last forever. It's not going to end. So I know that in this lifetime, there is an end. There's a beginning, there's an end, but you are eternal beings. But what he's saying is when we come together, I want it to last for the remainder of our lives. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.